Welcome to the Asia Pacific Yo-Yo Championships 2017. Right now, we're gonna wait for the third slot of the 1A category. Yes, I'm going up soon. This is Azun's vlog. Spike, I don't know volume what. It's a Kendama vlog, but he's doing a Yo-Yo event. Swag, like very nice, like... <clears throat> Look at all these people. They are all here to play Yo-Yo's. And I really wish that Asia Pacific has a huge Kandama event like this with this many people coming and this grand of an event it's great you know it's people getting together and people learning tricks like you know I just want this to be in the Kandama community too you know if you remember from the last episode Spinworks sponsored SNKC and they've also set up a booth so here's what they're selling some rare yo-yos and these are like uh, AP edition yo-yos and god knows why there's spinners here but there's spinners here spinning tops uh, also some merch like this is this is insane look it and then bands booklets t-shirts more t-shirts these are camera setups uh, one's for broadcasting and one is for recording. Uh, these are in-house. Some of these are brought from the companies that came to compete in the event. That one too. Can you show them what's special about your yo-yo? So, your yo-yo again, he's gonna wind it down for us. You're gonna see it's like, can play ah? How you play? Okay, show us, show us. Okay, he's gonna wind it up. I, okay, I don't even know how you wind it up. He's gonna, oh. Oh, there you go, like magic. Okay, so, they can, they're gonna let the yo-yo go off the string and once, they toss the yo-yo up, anything can happen. It's uh, very exciting because they have to always catch the yo-yo on the street. If they miss it, how oh, then? Minus points. Uh. Okay, I feel. So what kind of things will the judges be looking for? Show us like a basic trick and then show us like something that will score better. A basic trick will be point point, point point. Okay, easy trick. Okay, so this is gonna score okay, not so well because the yo-yo doesn't leave the string. Is it? So if you want to score well, the yo-yo has to leave the string. For example, there you go. See, the yo-yo leaves the string, so that gets them more points. How can you make it more difficult? This is how you make it more difficult. So when the yo-yo is horizontal, it's a lot harder to control, right? Okay, and uh, they're going to score more points. Anything else you want to show us? For fun, one string with. Okay. Okay, thank you, Lim I Kui. He's gonna join the judges' table.
Jai. All right, there you go. Naoya Takeuchi from Japan. There you go. Whoa. Finish off with the ball, Muhammad. Yeah. With the rest of the podium finishers here as well. Let's see if we can get one step forward, guys. One step forward. Just one step forward. Yep. Okay, touching this. Okay, there we go. These are your winners. Yoshihiro, you're gonna have to battle. Get yourself ready. Okay, here we go. Battle and champion of champions in just a short while. Boogies Plus, make sure you don't go away. One last, one last battle waiting for you guys here. Please introduce yourself. Okay, hi, uh, my name is Taka, I come from Japan. I'm owner of Spin Gear. Uh, Spin Gear is a skill toy store, so we sell yo yo, kendama, and spin tops, and hand spinners, all kinds of skill toys. Why start uh, Spin Gear? Uh, when I was a kid, there was a yo yo craze, but after craze, they stopped selling the strings. Even I have a yo yo, I want to keep 
practicing yo-yo, but we cannot because there's no string in the market. After I grew up, I hit a hyper yo-yo craze. At the time, I, I can imagine after craze, they will stop selling yo-yo and strings. So I want to keep this culture continuously. So I started import a string and yo-yo by myself. Uh, for starting, yeah, only sell for yo-yo, but now we sell everything. Kendama and skin tops and some crispies and balls and hand spinners and everything. Sure. I like skin toys. When did you start bringing in kendama? Five, five years ago, maybe. What made you become interested in kendama? Yo-yo and kendama is very cross culture. I'm the first guy who imported Kendama USA into Japan. I think we can have a good relationship, so I talk with Kendama USA and then start import. At the time, there's no craze in Japan. Yeah. yeah. So, will Hi. Spin Gear make a Kendama? Yes. Uh, please wait a moment. Spin Gear will carry good Kendama with affordable price. Less than 20 US. Less than 20 US, uh, yeah. oh that's great. Akira is a new worker. Yeah, everybody knows Akira in Kendama world, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the guy who invented the clutch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he designed some new Kendama, so. I can't wait to see the new Kendama, yeah. so yeah, all the best. Moments later. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next year. See you next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how many of you are. See you next time. 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 Thanks, man. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so this right here is in dead dama. This thing. Oh, thanks for the music. Uh, and this is the app that accompanies it, if you see. So it has three axis accelerometers, which detect where it is in space. And some kind of magic sensors on the cups. So it knows where it is. Like that. No, oh, crap. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I've got with me the Bendama, which is this thing. So what this is is this is a electronic kendama. Uh, it's fully made of plastic. It's quite hollow actually. If you could like knock it a bit, Kenny. Yeah, it's pretty hollow. Uh, it's got circuitry inside the can is like super super heavy and the tama is like super light because there's like almost nothing inside but the great thing about this is that it's also connected by bluetooth to the app right so we have the app here uh the phone thanks to Haka. he loaned us the dendama unit for a bit so if I can get this right, uh, let's go home. So, how the Dendama detects the seven space is that it has accelerometers inside, which allow it to be detected. That way, you see that? 
Pretty cool, right? Try putting it in the cups. So you can take so in the bowl of the cups. And so on and so forth. Yeah. And you score. We have a few games. Uh, Trick list is one of them. Uh, you have several classes. The highest master class is around USA. Uh, and you can start off with big cup. And then of course, uh, base cup, small cup. That. There's also stuff like, uh, what is this? Uh, this is down spike. Hey, cool, down spike. How cool is this? Uh, down spike. If you want, you can also see the trick movie for it. It will link you to a YouTube channel featuring Kozoro. Hello! Uh, other modes include uh, playing 1 1. Okay, let me try and get back. Yeah, the app is quite laggy, but it does a job. Rush hour. Jin Dash. Coming soon, photo double. Mini game party. This sounds fun, but I would like to try this one. I could get this. No, oh, here. Jin Dash. Okay, cool. Let's try this out. Versus guest. Number the Nama 1. Level 1. Second to 1. Okay, start. Start. Okay, you can choose any trick you want. Uh, basic, uh, to pick up. Basic, yeah, pick up. Okay. Uh, yeah, pick up. Oh wait, I think I can choose it first. Oh, tap. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Pick up. Base cup. Okay, my turn. Small cup. Uh, so that kind of goes on and on and on until you finish it up. Right? Okay. But anyway, so it's so much different, it's so much bigger because of all the electronics inside. But it's good. <laughs> Alright. I think that's a very short review of the Nama. Thank you, Kenny, for being uh, my co-host today. Thanks. See you. Bye. Uh, oh, and thanks, Taka. Hi. Bye.